The title of our paper is Failure to Protect Beaches Under Slowly Rising Sea Level, and that really says it all. We have noticed for decades here in Hawaii, and in fact this is true around the country and around the world, that um, the policies to protect our beaches, to protect public access to the ocean and along the uh, shoreline, uh, policies to protect open space and policies to protect the environment, are actually failing to do so. What is happening instead is that one permit at a time is allowing homeowners to build seawalls and revetments, which are simply sloping seawalls, uh, to protect their property against erosion. And um, this has several effects. Number one, in an era of rising sea level, it's actually accelerating sea level rise, uh, the shoreline needs to move landward or it will drown. If you want beaches in the future, uh, you are going to have to allow the beach to migrate landward, which means that our homes are now in the wrong place, our roads are now in the wrong place, and uh, we need to figure out an exit strategy, a way to get out of the way, rather than to build walls to prevent the coastal environment, prevent the beach from doing what it needs to do uh, to stay alive under sea level rise. And I can tell you in reviewing uh, coastal policies around the world, no one has yet figured out uh, how we are going to get uh, coastal homeowners away from the hazardous situation that they're currently in. This is not about being hard on people or hard on agencies. This is about being hard on the problem. And I think if all of our coastal zone management network, that is the feds, the state, and the county, uh, realize this is an issue and uh, are willing to change their procedures and perhaps even change their policies, uh, we can move into an era in the next decade uh, where beaches are going to be here through mid-century and through the end of the century for our grandchildren to use.